So after I've gotten my first shot, do I still need to wear a mask and keep a physical distance from other people? Or am I free to go about the way it was prior to having the pandemic? Great question. We're a long ways away from that yet, but there's hope. So when we look at the risk of COVID infection uh, and time from your initial time from being immunized in one week, two week, three week, four week, et cetera, the good news is that the vast majority of these vaccines uh, roughly two weeks after you've received your initial dose, you get a significant level of protection. That's variable amongst the vaccines, but it's significant level of protection. And certainly it's a, a level of protection that prevents hospitalization and the risk of death. That starts immediately uh, and reaches a peak at around two weeks after your first dose. We're asking everyone follow the uh, the particular vaccine most require a second dose that second dose will give you long-acting immunity and two weeks after that you're much better protected uh, against the risk of COVID-19 the problem is uh, that we need all of our community to build up immunity so until we're at that 70 percent of our population natural or immunity through immunization, we all still need to adhere to best practices. There is the risk, a small risk, that you could be immune to the virus, so you're protected against getting ill from it, but you're carrying it in your nose and you may transmit it to a loved one. Uh, and not all loved ones may be immunized at this point. So to best protect our community uh, and adhere to best practices, we need to continue with good physical distancing, masking, hand hygiene, small social circles. We will let you know as we build population immunity when we can pull back on public health measures. I'm just as anxious to do it as I'm sure you are. Uh, and there's hope that in the fall, um, we'll, we'll be able to pull back many of the public health measures. Certainly they'll have to stay in place in, in high risk settings, uh, like our long-term care facilities, retirement homes and the hospitals. Uh, but in, at a population level, uh, we may be able to reduce them. So uh, absolute hope uh, and um, we'll follow the data and we'll keep our community informed when we can start reducing public health measures. But uh, anticipate for sure in the fall, I think our community will embrace immunization as a strategy to reduce the risk for our, this community.